So what we're seeing with Colorado is pretty much what we're seeing with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. We're seeing two people looking at the Buffs and saying, I either want you to fail or I want you to win. And it's creating so much tension that no matter who Colorado's playing, it's exciting to watch. Um, I bet there were no real top-tier SEC games on this past. Alabama didn't play this past week, so it was really kind of a boring watch. Um, and, the, and, the, and the other Ohio State game was they played some, some trash team. Um, but I, I like the, like this is a big win for Colorado. And I told you guys before, I don't. It's not that I don't. I don't want. It's not that I want to see Deion Sanders fail. I don't, I don't want to see him fail. I never want to see him fail. I just don't like what he did with Jackson State. Now, of course, this is a Baylor team. Um, you know, it's a Baylor team. Uh, I'm not saying the Baylor team is a bad team, but it's unlike most teams they'll find they'll face in the Big Twelve, uh, this team has a pretty much a running quarterback. Um, you know who passed the ball 21 times and they ran the ball they ran the ball 41 times um you know he's a junior you know he's been most i'm not sure where he played uh he played yeah he was a chance from mississippi state um not saying bill is a bad team but it's a big win i mean you you get your first conference win you know your first you number one you number one in the conference um i thought that shador standards played well um there's a lot some things he could 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 do differently as far as his pocket awareness and getting the ball out of there quicker than soon uh, than 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 uh, than than later. You know, I think quarterbacks typically tend to rely on their feet as opposed to uh, you know getting the ball out quick, and that can mitigate the pass rush. That's one thing he'll have to work on. Uh, that also may be him working with uh, the offensive coordinator. Say, hey, look, I need some I need some short passing options uh, in case his intermediate routes or the middle routes or deep routes aren't there. Uh, but that's the difference between the, the NFL game and the college game um, where everything's just downhill passing. Um, Travis Hunter. All right. Um, I think we're all talking about him and, and, and we're trying to understand, like, is he is he a true Heisman? What he has done as a as a player for the three games is insane um, for him to play both ways. Getting them out. First of all, how was Travis Hunter's hamstrings holding up? Right, this guy has hamstrings of steel. Uh, for him to play, <laughs> for him to play uh, both sides of the ball, and both sides of the ball, and just, uh, I mean, he's playing defensive snaps, right? Um, his numbers, like with this, look, Travis Hunter's numbers this season, seven for. So I'm, I'm going to start at the beginning of the season. 7 for 132, 3 touchdowns, 10 for 110, 13 for 100, 7 for 130. And, and, and at college State, he has 2 touchdowns. So he has, in three in, uh, in 4 games, he has 37 receptions, 4 and 72 yards, and 5 touchdowns. So you can guarantee out of him on offense that he's getting at least 1 touchdown. He's going to give you... A hundred, pretty much a hundred and 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 fifteen yards, hundred hundred and fifteen yards per game. And he's gonna give you about about seven receptions, about uh about not eight receptions. That's 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 legit, and that's just on offense. Not only that, he's playing majority of the game, almost every snap on defense. We have never seen this type of of dual athlete before. In, in, in football at all. We've seen guys who may switch back and forth that have maybe their offensive talent and they play defense. And, and most of the time, you see a guy like that, they play defense most of the time and then they come over and play a couple plays on offense. This guy's playing every snap on offense. and Every snap on defense and on offense, he's there every single day, you know, most of the time. Tra- we Travis Hunter is a talent. A talent. Uh, and, and we can't... We can't look past that. We we have to acknowledge that. Um, you know, just co- get, being on the field, like being on the field in an overtime game and making the game saving tackle a strip to win the game after you just after you just caught seven passes for 130 yards. <laughs> Yo, it it's it's he's talented, um, 110 percent like. 
Love seeing him out there. He's just a talent, a talent, a talent, a talent, a talent. Um, I'm actually interested to see what happened to Sanders. I'm not sure where he went, his, his son. But uh, Kyle Ralph still has a, still has a, has a tough schedule ahead of them. Um, I still think that, you know, every game now being the Big 12 and, and teams coming over, you got UCF, Kansas State, um, Cincinnati, Texas Tech. Uh, Utah, Oklahoma State, and Kansas is not tough. I mean, your schedule now is tough. It's a little bit tougher than because the Big Ten is just pretty much dispatch. Or big Pac-12 is pretty much dis- dispatch. Um, but you got a tough conference. Uh, you're tied for first place in the, in the conference, the Big 12 standings. Um, you travel to UCF, which is going to be an interesting game. I forgot who played quarterback down there at UCF. I forgot who transferred down there. Let me see. KJ Jefferson played for Arkansas, um, dual threat, you know, dual threat, uh, running running quarterback. So it'll be good to see how they contain him, especially him playing in the SEC. Uh, but they're once again they're three and zero as well too. It'd be Sam Houston, the Hanshaw, and, and then TCU. So real good opportunity for 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 Colorado to, um, you know, Colorado to to win uh, and, and and go to a bowl. Uh, that'll be a win for them. The development, I think Deion Sanders is kind of like, okay, I'm actually doing this. Like, it's one game, right? One conference game. Uh, but Colorado, I think, uh, in that game that we saw, we saw some resilience. We saw some grit. We saw some fight. We, we saw them playing like the team they hyped themselves up to be. Um, and that's rare. And Alabama has this effect. Alba- playing Alabama, it, it's, it's the, and playing for Nick Saban, it was this. Every week in, week out, you're getting everyone's best shot. Week in, week out, you're getting everyone's best shot. People are going to play you like no other. And you have to be good every single week. You can't slack off and get away like some other teams. Every single week, you have to be good and not and can't get away. Nick Saban had that. right? Deion Sanders has the same exact thing. You, ha- you, you have to be good every week. Um, they're exciting to watch. That overtime game was one of the... One of, the, one of the better games, uh, uh, like some exciting games I've seen, um, you know, as a fan, just to watch, watch, you know, two two teams battle it out, um, you know, the Hail Mary, you know, the 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 Travis, watching Travis Hunter, um, you know, seeing Shador develop, uh, these storylines that kind of lead up with these players hating, you know, playing, hating these players not liking each other, talking about, um, you know, talking about. Uh, uh, um, you know, like Shador Sanders and whatnot. The storyline is great to follow. Uh, Will Shepard missing the potential, you know, catch you forward, then throwing the Hail Mary, right? Um, Colorado, its destiny is going to be predicated on how well they're coached. The, the the breakthrough that we saw this game was Colorado playing like 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 they were hyped up. Um, that could be scary, right, um, if they continue, but – the, this game, the next game, is gonna be just as tough as this game. It's not gonna get easier for them, and they're gonna have to continue to compete and compete, compete. They're gonna continue to have to coach. It's early in the season. I'm not overreacting, but if they want to win a bowl game, they have to continue to play football at the level, at the intensity they played with, right before, and not rely on Travis Hunter only on the offensive side of the ball. Other guys are gonna have to step up.